Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about industrial crafting. Now, industrial crafting is a great tool, but there's a couple problems with it. And one of the main ones is that, let's say I want to make 556 automatically to have in my base on hand. But I don't want to forget that I left the crafter on and automatically fill an entire box with 55, and so I've got no GP left to raid with. Well, we can fix this. So let's say that this is our basic base setup. We've got a box here with some crafting mats. Let's say this is our ammo box that we're going to depot into. We've got our workbench set up and some power. So all we need is two industrial storage adapters, two industrial conveyors, an industrial crafter, and an ammo BP. So now let's get all those set up. Here, one over here. A storage adapter set up there. Let's wire it all up so that it's got some power. And so then let's connect. So we take the output of our mats box and connect it to the input of the input conveyor. The output of the input conveyor goes to the industrial crafter. Then the output from the industrial crafter goes to the input of this output conveyor. And the output of the output conveyor goes to the input of our ammo box like that. So you can see it's just in one continuous chain. Then we're going to put our BP here in that industrial crafter. And we're going to have this crafter ship metal fragments and gunpowder. So what we need to do is we need to set maximums on these. So we don't want all of our gunpowder and all of our metal fragments to end up in the industrial crafter. So we're just going to set it up so it can craft 5-5 five, five twice by using those values. So once we do that and we turn this on, you'll see that the industrial crafter is just going to get 20 metal frags and 10 gunpowder. Next, we want to come over here and have this take 556 five, out from the industrial craft. And so for the maximum, we want this to set up so that it can fill our ammo box up as much as we want it. Now that can be a stack, that can be a row of ammo, that can be the whole box if you just want it to be the whole box. But let's just say it's a stack. And then we're going to set our buffer to 2. So the reason why we need to set that buffer to 2 is because if we don't, sometimes as the ammo finishes crafting and as this is taking time to pass metal fragments and gunpowder in, the whole system lags behind and it will automatically shut itself off with the way that we're going to wire it. So that buffer being 2 fixes everything and just makes this really nice. And so this is what's going to make this kind of a smart setup. We're going to take the filter pass from this and we're going to connect it to the turn on of our input conveyor and then we're going to take and we're going to connect this to the turn off so this will make sure that when we hit the max amount of ammo it turns this off so we stop crafting and when we are crafting ammo it'll just be right back here to turn it on so let's turn it on and get this going should see it start crafting in a sec here. Then you'll see as it passes ammo, this light's going to come on here. And you're going to see that pass metal fragments and gunpowder back into the crafter. So that's going to keep going. So this is the crafting setup, but let's say you kill some naked roaming AK and he's got four stacks of ammo on it that you depot into your box. So let's do that because you want to, you know, just have enough ammo and don't want to have to worry about, you know, continuing to craft more. Well, so then this will finish its last two crafts and then it'll automatically turn off because this isn't going to put in any more ammo. But let's say then you go out and you get steamrolled by a 16-man clan over and over again roaming SAR. So let's take all this ammo back out. Well then slow should pass some more in and that'll flick right back on and this will automatically craft you all the way back up to that stack that you've got 
And again, you can set that at whatever you want. A stack, a row, whatever. And it's just automatically going to fill with ammo like that. So I hope this video helped you guys. You know, I know this is something I've needed because I've accidentally crafted like a full box of 556 five, with this. And my team gets mad at me burning through stacks of GP. But, you know, if you liked it, make sure to leave a like and comment what you liked. Thanks, guys.